Hi, welcome to Tell Me a Story, Auntie. My name is Misha. Today's story is called The Scroll. One day, six millennia ago, sovereign creator roamed the universe admiring his creation that had brought him so much pleasure. He had a smile on his face as he admired everything. His eye was drawn to a spot that was empty and a twinkle shone in his eyes and a smile broke over his face. A planetarium would be ideal in that space, he thought. So he drafted his plans and got to work. Creator started building the planetarium. He molded land, sea, plants, trees, birds, and animals. The land was creative with mountains, plains, grasslands, marshes, forests, and cold tundra areas. The sea was a mirror image of the land, including its shallow and deep sections. Sovereign also made man, and all the things in the planetarium made man very happy. The creator rolled out a scroll over the planetarium and stretched it taut so that the animals, birds, fish, nor man could see beyond the scroll. The creator called it the sky. He painted the scroll with clouds as well as a large and small shining lights to make it beautiful. The hues of blue in the scroll created a calm for all on the planetarium, even the creatures of the deep who would come up from time to time to enjoy it. Ah, very good, he thought, and carried on on his walk admiring his creation. The scroll was intelligent, and beginning from its farthest tippy-tip-tip in the left, it began to write all the thoughts, words, and actions of all in the planetarium. The words were very close together and very small, very fine, very tiny writing so that all the space possible in the scroll would be used. One day, the scroll had no more space to write on. It had got to the tippy-tip-tip of the farthest side on the right. Every thought had been captured, every word recorded, every deed engraved. The scroll ended its writing just at the time the sovereign creator was taking another walk, admiring his creation. Creator saw the story recorded by the scroll. He rolled the scroll together and took a seat. All on the earth held their breaths. He would read and make a judgment about the story. What would the verdict be? Soon the sovereign will declare his judgment on the story of all in land and sea, including dad, mom, and me. What will he decide? Thanks for tuning into Tell Me a Story, Auntie. Have a nice day.